Welcome to Processing IoT Events and Data. I'm Ben Lambert, and I'll be narrating for the course's author, Marco Perenzen. The goal of this course is to show the event ingestion model of IoT Hub and how the events can be processed. Since IoT Hub isn't concerned with processing messages, it means that falls to you, and fortunately, Azure provides some really great options. We'll cover a few common options in this course. We'll cover options such as Stream Analytics, Azure Functions, as well as raw processing of events. When creating this course, I made some assumptions, so that means there are some prerequisites. First, I assume that you're familiar with IoT Hub. If you need to get up to speed, then you should check out our Introduction to IoT Hub course. You'll also need to be familiar with Azure Functions, and if you need a refresher, again, check out our course on Introduction to Azure Functions. In Introduction to IoT Hub, I focused on IoT Hub as a service and I covered device connectivity. Devices send events, and then IoT Hub just collects them. However, once you have all of these events, you need to process them. And that's what we'll cover in this course. This course will be dedicated to the cloud side of IoT, and we'll be using a simulated device to generate events. If after watching this course, you'd like to send me some feedback, you can reach me in a few different ways. You can reach me on the community forums. You can reach me via email at info at cloudacademy.com. Also, I'm at Marco underscore Perenzin on Twitter. If you enjoy this course, you may want to check out some of my blog posts covering IoT and some additional topics. I love getting feedback, both positive and negative, because it all helps me create better content for you. So I really hope to hear from you. Here's the agenda for this course. We'll begin with understanding streaming data processing with IoT Hub. Then we'll cover three different processing models. The first will be to write an event processor using C-sharp. Then we'll discuss handling device to cloud data with Azure Functions. Then we'll cover Azure Stream Analytics. And then we'll wrap up with some final considerations. All right, in the next lesson, we'll talk about streaming data processing for IoT Hub. So if you're ready to learn, then let's get started.